Hello, my name is Paul Perkinson, and I have the honor to serve as head of school at the Hudson School in Hoboken, New Jersey. Since its founding in 1978, Hudson students have been asked to live in the courage of being compassionate to all living things and committed to noble causes. Now, now this makes for a really exciting learning community. This video blog is my attempt to fully understand what it means to be part of a Hudson education as well as reflect on the people, ideas, principles, and practices that inform our school culture. Like all good schools, Hudson School takes pride in its classroom learning experience. I've been observing a lot of classrooms in the last four weeks of school, and what I see is a remarkable engagement between students and teachers, between students and students, and between students and ideas. Each classroom is uniquely animated, and I'm proud to lead a faculty that takes teaching so seriously and to be a school head where students take learning so seriously. What I find equally compelling is what I hear in the hallways during change of classes. Look, we're, we're a small school, and all grades change at the same time. This makes for a really boisterous five minutes between classes nine times a day. I like to walk around at that time of day listening to the hallway chatter and visiting with students and teachers. That chatter, all of those conversations between kids moving from class to class is a thin slice of my sense of the quality of learning that's going on at my school. I have two observations, and the first one's a little inflammatory, and I don't mean it to be so, but we, we live at a time in our nation where there's an epidemic of incivility. We see it everywhere, in social media, on YouTube, in movies, in our presidential selection process, while we're shopping, in sporting events, and sometimes on the streets of Hoboken. But where I don't see it, where I've never seen it, not once, I've never witnessed anything other than good deportment. It can get a little loud in the hallways. It can get a little frisky in the hallways. We're not perfect. And in this sense, we don't have many aspirants for sainthood. But everyone changes classes in the crowded hallways at a pretty polite pace, careful of others. The second reflection that I have about students talking in the hallway, and the reason why it's meaningful is that it indicates the extent to which learning spills out of a classroom. My office opens to the busiest hallway in the school, and this is what I've heard in the last week or so. Last week I heard a crew of fifth graders singing French and Spanish folk songs. I heard upper schoolers debating the rights that police have as they try to enforce the law versus the rights that citizens have to privacy. I heard some girls on the soccer team debrief their defensive play from yesterday's game. I heard seventh graders decline Latin verbs and on one occasion I heard one eighth grader correct them. I heard two ninth graders discussing a poem they had just read in class and one of them said you know, that poetry isn't nearly as good as everyone thought it was. And at the end of the hallway, I saw an English teacher and a student reviewing course content just before a quiz. What I take away from all this is, is that it's really cool to be excited, not just about learning, but about new ideas, about taking on difficult and challenging tasks, about developing newly acquired mastery, also, when this learning spills out into the hallways, we're reminded that learning sometimes happen, no, learning happens everywhere in a school, whether we like it or not. That learning's not confined to the events or discussion inside the room. Further, these kinds of conversations indicate that students have really connected with a lesson to the extent that it's theirs. It's their lesson now, absent a teacher and absent a text. That's really important to the life of our school because it's at the core of our mission. It means that students are way past being passive 
recipients of teacher's knowledge and teacher's experience. For me, it also means that students have been invited into a conversation that might not be very orderly, of which it's not a neat or tidy or correct ending. And lastly, this kind of hall room chatter indicates that there is present in a school a felicity of learning that makes it enjoyable to learn. It makes it enjoyable to extend yourself inside and outside the classroom. And perhaps most importantly, it teaches kids to trust and respect him or herself and all others. Hey, there are a lot of exciting things happening at school. So come visit us at Hudson. We'd love to see you. This is the first of what will be a regular video blog from the Hudson School. Thanks for watching.